All right, traders, so watch this video for Friday, April 5th. The SPY, kind of a quiet inside day inside of yesterday, and yesterday was quiet, and the day before that was quiet. It is um, it's very, very slow out there. Um, I took a couple trades early this morning, if you weren't there, little morning gap plays. They went up a little bit. They were perfect, you know, kind of a clean inflection point set up. So morning gappers where sellers came in, sellers fail, get long, and they went up a little bit and came right back to my interest. I literally had just a couple tiny gainers, a um, couple other trades throughout the day, but uh, then nothing's really following through. Um, still green today. That's just because I'm playing defense, but it literally felt like a holiday week and like nobody was trading it's weird it's weird action out there but you know things change and uh they will again here here's what i'm watching for tomorrow tyht um gapped up here this is actually a good example of this gapped up sold off and then in the afternoon works its way up takes out the higher day goes you know back to the middle of its range things were really choppy like this um, most of the day but when you look at the daily really nice volume pretty strong close so we're going to watch it uh for tomorrow OESX, just a nice inside day. Yesterday you had that really nice range. Today, inside of yesterday's range, potential long for tomorrow. We'll see. CLWT, um, I don't know. I'm on the fence about having this on watch, but with China speak coming out and Trump, I think, meeting with the vice president, uh, if there's any good news, um, this is maybe my least favorite China chart, but it's probably got the most potential to move up a quick buck or two. Um, there it is using 15-minute candles, had the gap up, then ripped that day, came back down. It is putting in nice support for the last several days. So you could argue that we might get a breakout. Notice it hasn't broken a previous day's high since all this started. So, um, you know, if it does that tomorrow, breaks a previous day's high, uh, it might be worth a shot. Keep in mind, this is the first really kind of solid green day that it's had. But um, I've watched the bids on this thing just fall off. They just disappear. So uh, this is my least favorite probably going into tomorrow, but I do want to watch it. VERI had this big spike yesterday, uh, 581 to 698. And then today, right inside of yesterday's range, but very close to a two-day high. I love this through seven. You might get a little squeeze. We'll watch that one. CPHI uh, penny stock, but a big, big move. So maybe we'll get a red to green in that one tomorrow. Um, REPH. Had this gap up, leaving this island down here, and it closed pretty strong. Um, this is one I had an early trade on, but I think I made like $120 or something on it, and it came back to my entry and was back out the rest. Uh, but a fairly strong close. So I, I don't love the way it traded today, but still going to watch it. ZYNE, even though you've got three green days in a row, you'll notice today's range inside of yesterday. So if you break today's high, you might just take out the whole number eight, and then you might just take out the recent high. So it's a pretty decent looking chart. It is extended, but we'll see. TNXP. Um, closing right about where it opened. Massive volume for the stock. Uh, I like the fact that it gapped up here, came down, had support, and now is breaking up above and closed above probably two weeks worth of trading. Um, the whole number three might come into play tomorrow, and then today's high was 314. So if we like push through three on volume, I view a break of 314 as another potential catalyst and maybe a squeeze, so I do want to watch that one. Um, TNXP, what's next? ALT, it's kind of obscure. Let me zoom in so you can see it better. Had this big pop back here, then a lower high, and it's got this range it's in, and it tried to pop out here right back into the range, and it's starting to curl back up. Uh, it's an obscure one, but I do want to watch it. CIFS, my probably my favorite chart going to tomorrow. Uh, had a big pop back here, a really nice pop back here. Um, then came all the way back down, rode the 20 day for a while. Big pop here. Uh, this was 279 to 425 on an intraday basis. That's a nice range, really kind of flagging. And then really, you know, flagging, trying to get through four today. Went to 405 before settling at 387. This is another one where a whole number might come into play. We might break through four tomorrow on volume. Sorry about that. And then we know that a break of today's high would be 406. And then the most recent high, 425. So you got a nice flag, nice volume on the initial break, and a couple catalysts above. So probably my favorite chart going into tomorrow. SELB, uh, we were watching this thing curl up yesterday, then today put in kind of a quiet inside day. If it breaks today's high, that would be over 285. And then you have 288 was yesterday's high. So another pot potential kind of two-day high break, and then maybe head to the whole number, and we'll see. Um, and then lastly, this is obscure, 
PBTS, it's only been trading for three days. So this was the opening day. Then yesterday it just rips. And then today on much lower volume gives back a chunk of yesterday's gains. Uh, there's really no chart to go on here, three days worth. But maybe I have it on bounce watch. Maybe tomorrow it trades in a narrow range, lights up the new highs ticker after an opening range breakout. And then, and then traders say, ooh, PBTS is going again. And then you get some momentum to the upside. So that's kind of the setup I'm looking for. Um, uh, hey, I hope to see a bunch of you at happy hour. Let's see, it's uh, almost five o'clock. Happy hour is in about an hour. Uh, we're just going. We're not selling anything. We're just going to have some fun, um, drink and talk stocks, or even just talk. Who knows? Um, looking forward to it. Um, trying to think. It's probably too late to put the link down below. Uh, if you, if yeah, I think it's probably too late to get registered. Um, if you see this video and it's still not six o'clock yet, check on Twitter. Um, I put the link out or stock twits. I put the link out several times. You could. Uh, maybe get registered and still join us. All right. Um, I'm done babbling. We'll see everybody in chat tomorrow.